The first time I came to Bethel Cleveland, the first thing I received was, I wasn't very familiar with the prophetic, but, you know, I received, I started getting these prophetic words because of the ministry that was at the church, and it was all about, like, <clears throat> like hope and identity, and it was um, stuff that was new to me. I hadn't heard that before. I've been in church before, but it was more about, you know, like duty and things like that, and, um, but I've been on a journey of what it's like to like value yourself and uh, how God sees you and like that's the language and the atmosphere that I've always consistently seen at Bethel Cleveland where we're always like, speaking into identity and life and hope and, and future and dreams and things like that and that it, it all actually matters to God. One of the other things I experienced was when the uh, Freedom Center started and kind of digging into like deep wounds and things like that and you know uh, things that are kind of maybe holding you back or barriers things like that and that's been one of the biggest impacting ministries I think for myself is um, you know God going into those wounds where I would just cover it up you know it's like don't talk about it you know let's just try and you know not feel anything even but he would you know expose the room and uh, wound and then go and go in there and heal it and it was, um, you start, I started getting addicted to freedom. I was just like, I just want to keep getting, going after this and going after these things, that it, these wounds that have been uh, hidden uh, and get them healed, you know, because every time it's just kind of like this new world opens up. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like, you know, I can walk in this freedom, you know, it's okay to be me, you know, uh, it's okay to value myself too. And things like that were just, uh, just all new to me, you know. If I had to sum up one word for Bethel Cleveland, it would be community. And when I see community, um, it's always been something that's been hard for me to open up and be vulnerable because I had always felt like I had to protect myself, don't get close to anybody. And through our community at Bethel Cleveland, it's like I'm seeing how I can be open and it's like a safe place. You know, it's like Father God, in His heart is that He's a safe place. And I constantly see that in my relationships with people. With, uh, everyone at church from leadership all the way down. People start to give you some insight. You know, I see these different things that I've struggled with that, um, or that I've been able to get healing or breakthrough with that um, maybe uh, this could help you too. And it's a, like another resource that everyone's helping each other. And it's kind of like growing up, it's just like, I feel like I didn't have anyone helping me. Now I have all these people, this extensive community everyone helping everybody. I just value, you know, like our leadership and the, uh, the training that everyone offers, uh, the ministries that are offered. Um, it's just, uh, I, I think like what Steve definitely uh, brings and that he likes to be like, like a life coach. I feel that way, like I feel his heart for everyone being able to live the most prosperous, fruitful life possible and living your dream and your identity and, and going for it and being open to say uh, yes, you know, I'm, I'm for you has been life-changing for me.